Hey everybody, Dave here, Hidden Freeman Investing. In today's video, we're gonna go over interactive brokers. We're gonna look at the actual data subscription, kind of look at what I have turned on, maybe kind of go through a little bit of what you would need to turn on, the fees involved, and uh, in addition, the very last thing we'll look at is we'll look at some of the uh, research subscriptions that I have turned on. I think I only have one turned on, but so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm logged into Interactive Brokers here. Um, obviously, if you have Interactive Brokers or you're looking at this video, then you probably already have an account and you're looking, you know, maybe you even have some of your tickers that you added say that you need to subscribe. Um, obviously, I'm already subscribed, so I don't have that, um, you know, displayed in my particular platform but uh, what you could do is just click on one of those buttons and that will bring you to the web page where you can subscribe but if you're already logged into interactive brokers and you're just trying to get to the description area then what you can do is go to account up here and then you could go to let's see here subscribe to market data research we'll click on that that'll bring you to the website that actually brings you to this site here and but this is not the actual main page um, this is under the user settings so on the hamburger bun or hamburger up here at the left hand side if you click on that on the very left hand side and you scroll all the way down there is a user settings option that is the main area how you get to this page and that page looks like this here so if you went to the hamburger button on the left hand side user settings that'll bring you to this page and from here is where you can modify your market data subscriptions or you can modify your research subscriptions by clicking on the gear icon so we're going to go back to the market subscriptions and uh, click so we're going to click on that there once you click on that, you should come to a page that looks like this, and this will basically have um, you know, all the subscription feeds for all the different parts of the world. Obviously, I'm clicked on North American here, but you know, if you're in South America, Europe, Middle East, Africa, you know, Asian Pacific, Global, and there's a quote booster there. But so there's Canada in here as well. I think that's under North American, but I'm not real familiar with a lot of the other stuff. I'm in America here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the page here and here is the page here for North America and these are all all of the settings I have turned on for my account um, and I'm going to just tell you right now that you know you're probably um, you can get away with not paying anything and I'm going to kind of give you like a workaround but um, I do have the US security snapshot and future value uh, bundle turned on that is ten dollars a month but it's waived if you have thirty dollars in commissions and you know thirty dollars in commissions you're thinking well dave that's a lot of you know commissions i mean i don't think i can hit that number to wipe out that ten dollars a month um, i can tell you this right now i'm up over five hundred dollars in commissions and we're not even through february at this point so just this year alone i'm over five hundred dollars in commissions so it's really um, and i mean ib has got super low commissions i'm just an active um, options trader that's part of the thing there but so at a minimum, that's probably what you're going to want turned on is U.S. security snapshots and futures value pack turned on. That should just get you the futures, should get you, you know, the indices, the major indices, Dow Jones, uh, SP 500, and OTC markets and whatnot. So um, if you want to do options, then you really want to turn on the U.S. equity and options add-on streaming bundle here. That's $4.50 a month. That does require you to have a subscription to this one down here. Okay, so that is a caveat there, right? Uh, you want to trade options with live data, then you're going to have to turn on this one and this one up here. Uh, at the minimum, you know, if you have obviously $30 of commissions, you're going to pay $4.50 a month for the options data feed, live data feed. Um, if you go through all of the other options in there, there's a ton of different options that'll say, you know, um, I mean, this this one up here, IEX, uh, depth of book, fee waived. All right. So all these ones that say fee waived here, they don't even have a minimum commission requirement. So I just turned them on. You probably don't need them. It's up to you whether you turn them on or not. I actually just turned a few more on tonight as well for the bonds. I turned some on for the metals as well. Um, it's up to you whether you turn those on or not. You may want to go in there every once in a while and just kind of check and make sure that they're not starting to charge you for that stuff. Um, IB in the past, I've been, I've been using IB for what nine years now. Um, they are pretty good about going in or, or you know actually emailing you and letting you know that something's going to be starting to charge, and to go in there and kind of review it and turn it off if you don't need it. So I can tell you that they have done that in the past. So the other caveat, what if you didn't want to pay $4.50 a month? Um, you know, you didn't want to turn this on. 
and you didn't want to turn this one on, then what you could do is you could use another platform, say like um, TD Ameritrade or something like that, and just get the quotes out of there and just look at the prices of whatever strike price or you know ticker you want, um, symbol, and then go to an actor brokers and it's, everything's gonna be delayed because you can get delayed um, data in there for free, I believe. And, and then just put the price of you know the bid or ask or something like that or the mid price in an actor brokers. I mean, obviously you're gonna have some issues getting fills um, you know, because you're going to be, you know, delayed by the time you put that number in compared to what the other platform has. So just be aware of that, um, I do know people that actually don't have any live data in actor brokers and they're, you know, seem to be doing fine. But, um, you know, if you, I mean, the $4.50, if you can't afford that, then maybe <laughs> interactive brokers might not be the right platform for you. I do use interactive brokers pro. Um, I don't know if all of this stuff is, you know, relative for, interactive brokers light i'm pretty sure it's all transferable um, but just don't quote me on that um also in addition when you open your account i think you need two thousand dollars in your account and in order to even enable this stuff so just be aware of that as well that probably be your initial deposit anyway turn on the market data and then i believe you need to maintain an account value of 500 dollars or more otherwise it'll turn the market data off I probably will do later on. I'll probably do a you know a video on interactive brokers, maybe the pros and cons, because uh, I've been using this platform for so long. That you know what type of you know trader would be using this platform. In my opinion, you know the buy and holder investor. This platform is really not for you buy and holders. If anybody's watching this video, um, you know why would you want to spend you know fourteen dollars and fifty cents or four, you know even ten dollars a month just to buy and hold stocks, right? Um, because it's a minimum of commission, not minimum of account value or anything like that. So if you just buy and hold, you buy a stock in here, dividend stocks or something like that, this platform is really not for you. I would suggest you know going to a Schwab or Fidelity or you know E Trade or something like that where you can actually drip your dividends and fractional drip at that. And I don't think Interactive Brokers offers fractional drip um, anyway. So they do offer fractional shares, but they don't offer fractional drip as far as I'm aware. The very last thing we're going to go through here is uh, research subscriptions. I am subscribed to one of those. So we'll just click on the gear icon over here. That brings you to this page. And there's a lot of you click on this gear icon up here. There's a lot of subscriptions. You uh, Benzinga and all that's in there. Um, the only one I'm subscribed to right now is Wall Street Horizon. Now, I believe it was $5 when I actually subscribed to it. But it says free trial on there. So maybe there's going to be a free trial now. I don't know. Um, but the only reason I subscribe to Wall Street Horizon is I want to get the earnings information for my tickers. I do program um, Python scripts to talk to the API for uh, interactive brokers. And when I'm running my script, it checks the earnings date and I wanna make sure I'm not um, you know, doing an option strike that goes through earnings date. So I figured that $5 a month will probably end up saving me you know, hundreds of dollars uh, in the future by making a mistake of putting an option right through an earnings. A release so i figured five bucks enough uh, five bucks a month is worth it so so that's going to wrap up this video hopefully you enjoyed um, this video on actor brokers data feed and uh, data research uh, subscription interactive brokers is one of the best platforms out there in my opinion for active traders and for options trading given the four to one margin and uh, low commission fees sometimes they even pay you to trade which is kind of funny but uh, if you have any comments questions concerns go leave a comment below hit me up on facegram or you hit me up on uh, email or twitter and uh, until next time go ahead and like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching